Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some noise. I will be showing you guys um, the Launch La Volume 2-in-1 Volumizer. So it's a blow dryer and a brush in one. So instead of having to like round brush your hair with the blow dryer and having to manage two different things, this is the two in one. So I will be showing you guys that today. Um, first, I like to get started with a conditioning spray for my hair. I seriously always drop things. Okay, so as you guys can see, well, I don't know if you can actually see, but my hair is very curly and coarse. So normally I would only blow dry my hair and round brush my hair when we were going to go out somewhere. Now I always use this as my hair dryer and my round brush um, when I get out of the shower instead of only doing it for events. Um, just because it's less of a hassle and the dry time on this is so much faster. So I'm going to be putting on the detangling conditioning spray from launch as well. All right guys, I actually <laughs> went to go change my shirt because I was noticing that you, that my hair was blending in with my black shirt. So I put on a white shirt to have some contrast. I'm going to go in with my nylon paddle brush and start kind of brushing, brushing that detangling conditioning spray into my hair. Now you can see that this has the like combo bristle brushes, um, but it's going to be a lot smoother if you go in and actually like brush through your hair. Since we're doing a like two in one, you're styling and you're blow drying your hair at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in this leave-in smoothing balm into my hair. Since my hair is very coarse, I feel like I have to use at least some product. So I'll do like a dime size of that, rub it into my hands, and then I concentrate a lot on like the middle of my hair and the ends because I feel like those are the most damaged. And then I rub the rest kind of towards the top of my hair. Okay, so I have that in there. And then again, since we're styling and blow drying in the same one, I put in this heat and humidity um, spray in my hair as well. So I'll do a couple sprays of that, concentrate on the ends. So this is a heat protectant and it fights against humidity, which is what my hair needs because it does not stay straight. My hair does a lot better if I section it off. So I'm going to section it off to blow dry it. This has three different settings. So it's going to be the cool, the low, and then the high. So I'm gonna start on low just because I feel like my hair is pretty wet still. You'll start at the root and if you want volume, you wanna pull it upward. What I really like about this is that it has this area here where you can put your finger um, so that you can actually pull, help your other hand kind of pull up. Okay, now that I've dried it lightly, I'm going to go ahead and change that to the high setting. So you just twist it. And with this, you can, if you want it to curve in, you can literally let it curve in like that. Um, or if you want it to curve out, you can let it curve out like that. My hair is coming out pretty straight and it is really, really, really soft. So before, when I would blow dry my hair, I would seriously look like a lion. For one, because I didn't want to round brush it. I would grab the blow dryer and I would just go like this because I just wanted it to go to bed and it was so much easier to just do that. Um, but now it's so much easier to use this. For some people, it's not going to take them that long in these areas if your hair is not coarse and thick. I have a lot of hair, it's thick, 
and it's very coarse so that's why I'm still blow drying it but if I were to use a blow dryer this would be taking me so much longer oh my gosh look at this this is without straightening it at all. Isn't that awesome? If you follow me on Instagram, I actually did this with my daughter's hair the other day. And she has super, super curly hair. But it's not as coarse as mine. It's thick. I mean, it's thinner. Um, so her dry time was like, I was already done by this point on her. But yeah, um, go check it out on my instagram if you would like to go see that i have it under my l's moments in my stories this is my bottom section i know i have little frizzies right there but i'll fix that um I'm trying to stay on my tippy toes here so this is without straightening my hair let me show you from the back I don't know okay so I don't like to mix my hair when I section it off so I'm actually going to pull this back now okay I'm gonna start on low again love that it has a cool setting too I mean obviously like a blow dryer but um, when you're done styling your hair with this you want to leave the last setting on cool um, because that just kind of seal ends everything you've done to your hair. Even if I don't want to curl at the end of my hair, I will kind of turn it inward so that it pulls my hair as it's drying it to get that straight look. Um, because if you just go like this, it's just not going to do it as much as if you were to turn it and then pull. I'm gonna go in with the cool, so I will turn it once. Just to seal in everything we've done to it. Do you see these like little hairs that kind of stick out? I like to kind of go through that with the straightener just to get that sleek look. So let me take this top bun down and then we'll be done after this. Also guys, this video is not sponsored by Launch. Um, I'm just showing you guys this product because it has really helped me. And I actually look forward to blow drying my hair and before it seemed like the biggest hassle. Now you see that I'm brushing my hair downward um, because at the top I do like that volume when I let it kind of fall down. So I like to get it a little bit dry before I put it on full blast heat. So towards the end, I like to pull up. So that way you get that volume right here. See that? Now that my hair is mainly dry, do you see this volume right there? So I'm gonna go in with the cool setting. So switch that to cool to seal in what I've done, right? If you noticed, I did not pull up in each section. So if you want all that extra volume, you can pull up in each section. But since my hair is thick and coarse, I try not to because then it looks too poofy. So this is what my hair looks like after using that. So you see this kind of curve here. That's from brushing it upward and then the curve falls. I'm gonna go in with my launch straightener. It's a, it's the, this one is the titanium one. Titanium one. Um, so the titanium one is really good for coarse hair. Um, the ceramic one is more for fine hair. I'm gonna go in right 
here. These problem children right here. Not to mention the straightener is amazing. Okay, so I guess I already did that part, but see how that looks? Okay, now you see this side over here. I mean, it still looks pretty straight, but I'm gonna go in here for my little hairs. And if you guys are trying, if your hair gets creased easily with a straightener, um, a trick that you can do is kind of go like this at the root and go down. That way you don't get that crease. Since my hair is so coarse, I know. How many times have I said that? Take a shot every time I say my hair is so coarse <laughs> and thick. And I'm not going to mess with this because I like that curve that the round brush two-in-one gives me. So I'm going to leave that like that. Okay. And now I will go in with this nourishing gloss. So it leaves some shine to my hair. It also has some vitamin A, C, and E. So I'll do this. And again, I'll concentrate on my ends because my ends always look and feel dry. All right, guys, this is what my hair looks like. If you found this video beneficial at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the products I used or any other techniques, please comment down below and I will answer those questions for you. Again, if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future posts.